Good morning, side friends. It's Midday Man coming back at you from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. And I must say midday, too. It's about 12.38, but I had something else that I had to do first out there in the studio this morning. And uh, But nevertheless, it's better late than never, I always say. We want to give a shout out to the YouTube fam. Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT. Y'all know the routine. To the end time harvest game, Brother L.A. from Kingdom Knowledge, Elder Michael McCray. Also to uh, elect Sister 777, and Sister TJ, Sister Linda, Sister Le Brother Leonard. All of you to make up the end time harvest game, Brother brother JT, Papa JT, Little Brother Orange Flavor. We give y'all honor today, and uh, we just wanted to say people, I, uh, I listened to a video this morning, and uh, it was about an hour long video, and I rarely take that kind of time to, that's a lot of my time out of a day, to sit down and just watch one video, but I this one it was on the exception it was, uh, I made an exception for this one before, because of the, the the urgency of the video it said that every Christian need to watch that video so I sat down and I watched the entire video and uh, needless to say people uh, it made me the man think and I posted it I reposted the video on YouTube, uh, Facebook that uh, I, I encourage you each of, you, each of you to listen to this here video and look at it and all. Only thing we can do, people, is self self analysis. In other words, we can do self analysis. I don't know what's in your heart. You don't know what's in mine. But uh, Jesus said you would know the tree by the fruit. And my main objective, people, is to, first of all, God knows I want to help anybody that I can help. God knows I want to do that. But I certainly don't want to be do all of this. And I get there and I disqualify. And as this video was speaking of the Laodicean church, the lukewarm church. People who don't need to be lukewarm. And the only way we can serve Christ, he told us himself, that we must first deny ourselves, take up the cross daily, follow him. That's the only way we can serve. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. That's what he said in Matthew. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all this other stuff will be added. And I know that a lot of times. And I know I feel that way. And I have seen and I used to think the same way. And to a degree. We always. Uh, we think about things and our responsibility. That what we must do in our lives. As we live here on this planet. Uh, there are certain things that uh, we feel that we need and we have to have lot for our livelihood and I mean you know that's so legitimate that's legitimate I don't I don't see I don't, I don't believe and you hear me now I said me the man don't believe that God will hold us in some sort of penalty booth for trying to look out for ourselves in certain aspects and certain respect of life and uh, those of you who are married who are married and got kids and some of you might be married you may not have any kids uh, but nevertheless you got certain responsibilities that you feel that you must you must meet and I believe that I believe that you know I don't believe that uh, God mean for us to just walk around here every day with our head in the air with our arms like this I, I, I just don't believe that but, but but the one thing that I do say I <clears throat> Someone made a comment. I'm not going to even mention the name, but uh, said that uh, maybe we as Christians are too cream puff, and you know God is a God of judgment. And uh, I'm going to tell that person they are correct. God is a God of judgment, and the wrath of God is going to go on sinful man. But God is also a God of love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And we as Christians, we must also tell the people about this love. Uh, I hate to, you know, this. I hate to disappoint the people that feel that we should go around with a judgment axe or a chainsaw and we are cut up everybody that don't believe like we believe. No, that is not what Christ told us to do. He told us to let our light shine and, and to proclaim him, to preach him. Him and him crucified. That is the, 
and his resurrection, death, burial, and his resurrection. The resurrection is the foundation of our faith. People, if Christ didn't rise from the dead, then we all are dead. We all, we might as well just live any kind of way and just do whatever we want for tomorrow. We all die because there's no hope. If there's no resurrection, what are we going to do all this for? So, yes, God is God of judgment and a God of wrath. When, when you don't do what he said, you're going to reap it. You're going to do it. But he's also a God of love. And if you read your Bible, you'll see that all the way through the Bible. God gives man choice. Everything is about choice, people. And he gave man free will. You see, that's the thing. No one can infringe in your area. We were created in the likeness of God in his image. And we got characteristics just like God. God gave man a free will. Mankind, he gave us all a free will. And guess what? No demon or an angel can go into that territory. That is only, we, we are the only one that can touch that. Even God don't mess with our free will, people. So if you choose by your own free will to allow certain things in your life, God cannot do anything about that. He gave that to us in the garden. That was the tree of life, and that was the tree of the good of knowledge of good and evil. Satan came, and he deceived the poor woman. Yes, he did. He deceived her. But Adam free willingly ate that fruit. Satan didn't even contact Adam. He free willed that fruit, whatever it was. He free willed it. The woman said, here, and he took it. So, is it God's fault? No. It was man's fault. Man completely did it with his own free will. He chose to what? Disobey. So now people, I'm going to calm down to this point right here. And I can only tell you what many man have done. I decided that I go to God. And I said, if it's anything that I'm not doing, that I know, I, that God knows that I should be doing. Then if the Lord strengthened me, show me that area, I will yield my will to his will to obey it. Now listen to what I just said now people. Before somebody take that what I said wrong. Many man said, I have already made it known to God that if there's anything that I am not doing, in accordance to his will. Because see people. I don't want to get there and disqualify. He must let me know what that area is. Where I'm failing. Or where I'm lacking. He let me know. And then I would yield. My will. To his will. Now guess who's going to have to do the work. You guessed it. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit. I can't do it people. You can't do it. But we can. That, that free will he gave us. We can turn that over to the Holy Spirit. And our will become His will. And then that's what makes us right with God. I believe that's what makes us right with God. It's not so much. Because see we can't do nothing. Only what Jesus did. So now I hope that. I hope that I don't throw anybody off. And it's not many man's intention to throw anybody off. Because man I want to make it myself. And the only thing that I know. Is that Jesus completed the work. But I must submit my will that free will that God gave me I must be willing to release that to the Holy Spirit to lead me into all truth that way guess what I don't have to worry about it and neither will you so with that being said whatever you get whatever you get into if God is not in it it's best that you get out of it this is Mitty Man saying peace goodbye